just to be completely clear for people. This is not just a global problem. OK, she's going to twist the knife in here, right? So just, just try and put her off by doing that thing that you do with your eyes, you know, nothing. What happened was that the pound slumped, interest rates shot up. Uh, keep, keep, keep staring at her with disdain. It, it, it's all you've got at the moment. Uh, pretend that she's a pound shop or something. So I'm afraid there is an issue that interest rates are going up around the world. And we do have to face that, and we do have to tackle that responsibly. And we do have to face that, and we do have to, David. But... What? I do want to say to people... You didn't get to the end of that sentence. You just went, the, the, the. But I do accept... Oh, we, sh we should have laid the ground better. We should have laid the ground better. But Principally by not lining it in the first instance with bear traps and fire. I believe we need to grow the size of the pie. Yes, that's it. More pie talk. People understand pies. That's fundamentally what we need to do as a country. That's right. We need to grow from a, from a Waitrose picnic mini pork pie into a massive steak and kidney bastard. But Prime Minister, I've asked you if you're going to cut spending on public services. Oh, no. Are you going to cut spending on public services? Right, take a pause and bring your hand up again. And explain your approach. My approach mm -hmm. is to... Say something? Anything? The key thing is to get the economy growing faster. Pies! So the pie is bigger. Really big, a big bathtub-sized Melton Mowbray pie. Can I ask you, Prime Minister, did you discuss scrapping the top rate with your whole cabinet? Yes, of course I did. I run through all major policy decisions with my cabinet, but at the end of the day, the buck stops with me because I am the Prime Minister and it's my duty to... No. Go, okay? No, we didn't. It was a decision that um, the Chancellor made. Mm. Oh, now this is probably the Chancellor ringing me from under the bus that you just threw in. I mean, I get up every morning as Prime Minister thinking... Cha-ching? How many people voted for your plan? Uh, say pie again. Pie. We're running out of time and you've made that point. You've set out... Kwasi, can you hold on a minute? I'm talking to... Well, frankly, that is disgusting language coming from a Chancellor. Have you been watching Succession again? <laughs>